Alright guys, in this one I have a 2012 Nissan Versa. Now a customer complaint is that it is a no start and I'm just gonna, I haven't done anything to the vehicle except for try to turn the key and it doesn't want to start. So the first thing we're going to do is just verify customer's complaint. So as you can tell it doesn't want to start and if you hear that clicking, well, it's a good indication of a battery that is pretty much shot. So what we're going to do is we are going to stick a booster pack onto it. We're going to try to see if we can start it. So I'm going to set everything up and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so here we have a booster pack hooked up onto the battery. We're going to go back inside the car. We're going to turn it over and see if it starts. And then we are also going to take and hook up a multimeter at the same time to see what our voltage is at. So we're going to take him. We'll put him there. And we're 11.58. So, but I just had to boost onto it, so it might have helped it out a little bit. Now we're going to hook the booster up. I should pump it up. To 12 so it went up half a volt so not that much and the booster is pretty much shot so it's not my booster but it should still start the car hopefully hopefully oh yeah we'll be fine oh not even that is really not good all right still be more than enough to start this car so our voltage is at 8 volts we're gonna hook up the booster and we are at 12 let's see if it starts now and it starts so let's go see what our voltage is when it started so with it started we are at 14.6 We'll take this guy off, make sure we keep that amper, that voltage, and we're just going to do a quick amperage measurement. So I'm going to pause you guys, bring in a little amp clamp, and all we're going to be using is the multimeter for this one. Now, I'm going to pause you guys, give me one second. All right, so right now we are roughly at about 18 amps, 19 amps coming out of the battery. I don't have any loads on, so that's pretty normal. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna load the system and we're gonna see what we have after that. So with the system loaded, you can see that we're about 41 amps, which is uh, good for me. It's actually pushing out what it's supposed to. So, and that's with my headlights on and my blower motor. I don't know if you guys can hear it. And the AC is actually running also. So that tells me that my charging system is okay and I probably just have a defective battery. But the complaint is that the battery goes dead by itself. So what we're gonna do next is try an amp drain draw with the car off. So I'm gonna pause you guys, turn the car off. I went ahead and I did a standard amp draw test. Okay, so basically you take and set your meter up to your amp scale. Take your positive lead, hook it up to your battery post. Take your negative lead, hook it up to your negative, or you can vice versa, it doesn't matter, it's just gonna change the sign right here, it's gonna go positive or negative. So, and as you can tell, I am at 0 0.07 amps, which is pretty much nothing on uh, as for an amp draw. Typically you wanna be about 0 0.05, 0 0.07, that's typically where I like to see. So, this guy's gonna need a battery, and that should fix the issue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys next time.